Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. Do you ever have a pen that you would, you kind of like the pen, but you would like for it to write in just a completely different way and maybe they don't sell that pen or sell an aftermarket nib in the configuration that you would like? That was the issue for the viewer who sent me this Sailor Compass, which does not have its standard medium fine nib. Oh, it's still got the same nib, but he took a grinder to this pen and has made his own custom ground stuff. Now, I'm not going to review the pen. I've reviewed the compass before. I'm not going to review his nib, but I do want to share with you just a possibility. Maybe you've thought about, I wonder if I took a pen out to the garage, out to the tool shed and went to work, what might I come back with? Well, here is one option and I'm really glad to share it with you. Let's flip the camera and take a closer look. Okay, so here is the standard on the left and the ground on the right so that you have a point of reference. The standard is a steel medium fine nib. And of course, to get the width that he wanted out of the stub, and I, what the line that I measure uh, written on paper is 1.2 millimeters. You have to come down that nib quite a bit to get the width that you want. So you do end up with quite literally a stub in more ways than one. It's a stubby nib compared to that original. But I think for a, uh, a beginner nib grinder, I think it did a good job. It writes well. Uh, it's it's good and wet. Uh, the Sailor Compass is, uh, the feed is sufficient to support this stub nib. No issue there. And uh, it does quite well. So let me uh, get some paper and let's do a writing sample just so that you can see the results. Okay, so as a point of reference again, we have just the standard Sailor Compass. And this is with that medium fine. I think writes a really nice clean line. This pen has been reliable as the day is long, which you know, you'd expect. But uh, just because you expect it doesn't mean you always get it. So it's nice when you do. Anywho, uh, then you get this custom grind stub. And according to my calipers, this is a 1.2 millimeter stub. The ink is Birmingham Pen Company, Electron Blue, a really beautiful, vibrant blue. A pretty wet ink, and you'll notice that in this test. Uh, it is an ink that does sometimes go through even rhodia paper here and there. I still like it. I think it suits this pen well because it's just, it's a beautiful ink. So let's see here what we can do on line variation. As you can see, if you go straight up and down, get a pretty thick line straight across, quite thin. Of course, this should be the thinnest and the thickest. There you go. One extra on that one just for good measure and to, to mess somebody up probably. Anyway, um, as, you, as you know, when you have a stub, you can get some pretty neat variation and it just enhances even just your everyday, this is just my everyday writing, but you do, you get just a little bit different take on everything that you write. I like that about it. So it writes really very nicely. You know, another viewer, uh, George, was telling me that he had seen on Groucho Marx's game show that a papermate employee who was an, a uh, contestant on the show said they used to use the word Johnson, the last name Johnson, as a test for nibs and pens, that that would give them an idea. If it wrote well for the word Johnson, then it was going to write well. Of course, you get see you get some, some good line variation there. So, I do, I like, well, actually I should show you the nib one more time. I like what he's done here. And I think for a first attempt on nib grinding, uh, I, I think he's done a neat job on this nib and enhance the pen in a way that's pretty cool. And maybe that will inspire you. I think it inspires me at some point, maybe not in the, you know, maybe not just right away, uh, but at some point, 
I think I'm probably going to have to go out to the tool shed myself and see what I can come up with on a pen that I uh, I might want to have as a stub nib instead of a, uh, a medium or a fine. So there you go. Great job. Thanks again to the, the viewer who sent this pen for me to check out. Really, really cool. And I do definitely appreciate that. God bless you all and have a great day.